one of the most transformative journeys I've been on in the last two years has been from consumption to creation. It's the idea that we were made by God to create, but we live in a culture that pushes us towards mass consumption. So these concepts apply to all of life, but today I'm just going to stick to them through the lens of coding. And if you're just getting started coding or want to learn to code, uh, stick around because for me, this was the difference between exponential growth and stagnation. Also, if you've been around my channel for a while, you'll notice that the background is different and that I haven't posted a video in a while. And I apologize for that. It's been uh, just other other things have been going on. I We moved to a new house. Uh, we had a baby. And so just my time has been taken up by other things. And as I've been thinking and wanting to get back into videos, I've really been rethinking of the value I have to bring to someone who's learning to code and, and wants to, to make a career in coding. And so that is coding tutorials, but it's also sharing some of the mental models and, and some of the things that have really behind the scenes shaped the actual coding itself. And so that's what this video is about today. It's about this journey from consumption to creation that I've been on. Now I say this in the most humble way possible, just to show that what I'm talking about here is something I lived out and not just blowing smoke. Um, so when I was 17 to 21, uh, it's up until my senior year of college, I coded a lot. I spent a lot of time on the weekends, on after school, late hours, learning to code, taking coding courses, but I had nothing to show for it. I couldn't point to you and say, hey, I built this. And that was really frustrating for me because I put so much time in and so much effort yet there was nothing to show for it. And so that was my, my aha moment. I said, I need to build something. I need to, I need to be able to show to a future employer that I can do what I'm saying I'm going to do. And that was really the triggering point from consumption to creation for me. Uh, since then it's been two years and it's insane, but I have gone from building nothing to building a series of apps, which I'll talk about in this video. And now I build apps for Fortune 500 companies on a daily basis. Uh, my friends reach out consistently to me. I think it's been like three in the past month wanting to build apps and wanting me to help them uh, build apps to carry out their ideas. And it's just so cool and so rewarding. And so with that in mind, I just hope that this video can share some of the behind the scenes of really the mental shift that took place to set me on this path of exponential growth of learning and ability with coding. And, and I hope, and I know that if you apply the same things that I'm talking about, you're gonna see some sort of result. Obviously I can't guarantee anything, but I promise you there will be something. All right, so without further ado, let's walk through my story of consumption to creation. And then at the end, we'll finish off with just some condensed thoughts on how to apply it to your specific use case. Uh, and once again, I just wanna, wanna so reiterate this that I'm not saying this to pump myself up at all. I know my circumstances are, are so much of it's out of my control, but it, it's, it's really just to serve as a blueprint for someone else trying to do something similar. Um, and so with that, back when I, gosh, two years ago today, it was in April, I remember sitting in, you know, sitting, thinking, okay, I, I'm going to build an app. And like most people, you say, well, what am I going to build? Uh, and this is where lesson number one came in. It, it really doesn't matter. Uh, I was sitting there shooting hoops and my wife, Megan, was just sitting there on her phone looking at recipes to make for the week. And she said, dang, Pinterest is so annoying. I have to scroll through this whole essay before I can get to the ingredients to make this, this meal I want to make. And that was kind of a clicking moment. I said, oh, I can, I can make an app that takes a Pinterest recipe, pulls the ingredients out, and makes a shopping list for you. And so that was the first app. It was called Pinterest. Uh, it was built with Django and gosh, yeah, Django was the framework. That's about all I remember. And it, let me tell you, was terrible. I spent so much time on it. I did not know how Django worked. I would not recommend Django in the future. Use, use React, use something JavaScript based if you're gonna do web. Um, but that was my start and, and I tinkered around and I, I beat my head on it. And at the end of 
what it was either two or four months, I had this barely working app that could pull out recipes on uh, maybe maybe one out of five times. And that was it. And I said, great. Um, that you know, it was something. I, and I, I'm I think I'm downplaying it, but really there was so much learning that went into that. And and so I built it, but I kind of realized like, hey, this isn't gonna do anything. I kind of had some ideas of, oh, this could maybe make some money if, you know, someone wants to go then buy their groceries online and then you get some affiliate uh, marketing uh, cut from that. Uh, and I just realized, hey, this isn't gonna work out. And so I, I tabled it. I, I think a new term of school was starting up, so I got busy. Uh, and so that was the first project. And in that time, I was starting to get to the end of my schooling and think about what my first job out of school would look like. Uh, long story short, my wife and I decided we wanted to move back to Bend, Oregon, which is where I grew up. And there was really one company in town that I would want to work for. It was an app development uh, consulting firm. Uh, and I, I said, dang, this is my one shot. And so I went to the owner of that place was called Five Talent at the time, and I said, hey, you know, Ryan, what do I need to do to get a job with you guys when I get out of school? And he said, you know, we're big in AWS, get some AWS certs and that'll help you out. And so from that point, I said, okay, I'm gonna get some AWS certs. And so I went out, I took some tests, I got a couple of certs, and I said, okay, this is good, but I am gonna need to show something for it. He's gonna wanna see an app that I built. and so. That was the next app, and that was Grub Guide, uh, which is a restaurant recommendation app. Uh, basically, took all the restaurants in my hometown and made a database of them um, of different different attributes, and made a survey where you could come and fill it out and say what kind of restaurants you like, how many people, so on and so forth, and get back a recommendation of of two restaurants that we think you'd really like. And that was an app that. I took a lot of pride into and I, I tried to make really good from just the looks of it, the feel of it. And once again, it, it had this, I had this idea of you could make money off of it. One, if you were driving a lot of traffic and there could be some sort of, uh, you know, just ad ads on the website as well as collecting that data and selling it to a, to local restaurants so they can get a better idea of what their, um, what their customers were looking for. Um, and so I guess that, should, that was just kind of a common thread. All of my projects, if they worked out, they could have made some money. And I think for me, that was something that kind of motivated me. Uh, and, and that's not going to be everyone. And that's something that I'm actually trying to get out of a little bit of, of not just doing a project because there's a financial incentive. But if that's what you need to, to get yourself out of the bed and, and to get yourself working on this stuff, like great, do something that if it works out can make money. Uh, and so, you know, I tried really hard to partner with a, uh, a really big local travel website in town and that, that fell through. And unfortunately, you know, I, I was really bummed about that, but it served as the foundation to get my job. And I eventually did get that job and, and it, I, I really believe was because I had that app to point to. And so, so already, you know, two apps in it got me my first job and I was so grateful for it. And I was, it was actually a job they, they didn't even have a listing open and it would have been something that required a few years of experience. But because I had something to point to, I was using AWS uh, that, that opened that door. And so, gosh, I'm still like so grateful for that today and I'm still at that job and, and love it. After that, you know, I start my job and really around that time is when I decided to start this YouTube channel. And out of out of building Grub Guide, which was that restaurant recommendation app, I realized that like just because I build an app doesn't mean anyone cares and it doesn't mean anyone's going to go to the app. And so I said like, man, I want to build a YouTube channel so whenever I do build my next app, I can have an audience to share it with. And after, you know, doing this YouTube channel thing for a while, my motives have changed. My uh, how I, the value I see of this has all like really changed. But that was like my initial motivation, uh, and so I like started making YouTube videos and uh, just like every day creating something. Uh, and and 
just building and it went from coding and then it was like learning how to edit videos and learning how YouTube works, all of that. And, and over time, you know, week after week, I'd post a video and this thing start to grow. And then I start getting messages of people wanting to, you know, have me on to their webinar or ask questions or this or that. And, and it's just been really fun to watch YouTube in particular uh, grow because even like, you know, I took a six month break from YouTube and my channel is over doubled even without touching it and and it's it's so fun to watch like this exponential curve and and how that this ball got rolling with YouTube and I got to to sit back yet it still kept growing and and like along the theme of consumption to creation like had I just been you know watching tutorials like none of this is going to be growing while I'm not pouring into it and just as a result like all of this is compounding like the more you actually create like it's compounding like the knowledge is compounding or the the actual you know monetary value you're going to get out of it or, or the number of subscribers whatever it is it just compounds uh, and and so like that's kind of where I'm at today is I'm I'm still you know coding every day mainly through my job because that's that's what I have time for and you know with with the baby and and other things going on that's that's where I'm growing and in this YouTube channel the goal is to slow down a little bit do do more of like a one month cadence video and just really try to provide something either I'm learning or that I think is just provides a lot of value um, and and at the end of the day just be putting my time in to creating more creating than consuming uh, and that can look like a lot of things. And so with that, it's, let's talk about you want to start and you want to do this. What does it look like to actually start creating instead of consuming? Uh, well, number one, from a coding standpoint, just build something. It, it really doesn't matter what, just go build a website or build a machine learning model or build whatever the thing is you want to be good at and go for it. Um, the second is if you have already been, if you've already taken courses on how to learn a language and you've already gone through that initial step of knowing the basic syntax of a language, make it a goal to spend more time writing code than learning about code. And this can, this is a big shift and, and the better and more experience you get, the less time you have to spend you know, consuming in how to do stuff uh, because using using that creative muscle and actually engaging your brain to do is just like huge. Uh, that that one might seem obvious, and it is, but it, it's so powerful and, and it's so so powerful. Uh, the next one is consistency. Um, so if you want to build an app, you know, do something every day or do a little bit every other day until you actually build the thing and follow through with it. Because following through, it's like, it was always when I finished something that like kind of, it would domino into the next thing. It was never halfway through. And so like, do your best to get all the way through whatever it is you're going to try to do. Uh, and the third and last thing, and like we could go on forever if you have questions, like ask me. But the last thing is to like, think about your time in buckets. So I think about my time as either, I like every day you have 24 hours a day and every minute you're spending is in some bucket. You have negative buckets, you have linear buckets, and you have exponential buckets. Uh, an exponential bucket is something that's gonna grow and compound over time. These are the ones you wanna put your most in all time if possible into it. So that for me, coding, learning to code is exponential because uh, of, of the opportunities it can open up later down the road, uh, financial as well as knowledge. Um, so, you know, for instance, if you work a job, so like for me, my coding job, it is knowledge wise exponential, but linear financially, because the output I get from coding is going to be the same, no matter what, whereas let's say I have my own business, uh, that's exponential coding, because I can put in a little bit in and then get a lot out or, or the amount in does not necessarily determine the reward I get out. Um, so another one of those is me spending time with my family and my baby. That's exponential because over time, uh, 
that, that relationship, those relationships are going to grow and they're going to go affect the other people in their lives. And my son is going to have kids one day that are going to affect, you know, my impact on him will affect generations. So that's exponential. Uh, negative would be, you know, binging Netflix, uh, eating a ton of crap and feeling bad, um, consuming too much, whether even if it's tutorials, that can be either linear or negative. And so do your best think, you know, get, get your time into exponential buckets and man, that's, that's it. Gosh, we could go forever. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed listening to this. I hope that it came through that. Like I genuinely just wanted to share this and it's not like, I, I so don't think I'm anything special. Uh, and so hope you have a great day. Uh, if you have questions, you want to talk, please reach out. Uh, please shoot me an email. You can find it in the about part of my channel and uh, we will talk soon.